the Outdoor Vitals CS40. I received it a few months ago and since then I've used it on a five-day hike in northern Norway as well as several shorter hikes here in Italy. In this video I'll share all the things that I like and dislike about it so that you can find out whether it's really worth the $350 price tag. Before getting it, I was hesitant to switch to ultralight backpacks because I've tried them on before and they aren't nearly as comfortable as more standard internal frame backpacks, like for example, the ones made by Osprey. The CS40 is the first ultralight backpack that I feel comfortable wearing. It did exceptionally well when I was carrying about 10 to 12 kilos inside the backpack, but it also did okay when the load was lighter, when I was carrying all the food and water for several days, at around 15 kilos. I think it feels so comfortable because it has a carbon fiber internal frame and it's also shaped ergonomically as your back so when you put it on it just feels nice to wear. And the good thing about the internal frame is that it is removable. This was really helpful a month ago when I was flying with Lufthansa and I wanted to use this backpack as my carry-on because with the internal frame it was just a few centimeters above the limit. It also has a very thick and nicely padded hip belt which definitely helps a lot and the hip belt is also removable so theoretically if I'd want to use this backpack as my day pack for day hiking I could remove the internal frame and the hip belt and I think it's a nice option to have because it means that I don't need to buy a new backpack for day hiking. There's also a lot of padding on the back side of the backpack as well as the shoulder straps and it also has a chest strap and load lifters. I still think it isn't as comfortable as for example some of the higher end Osprey packs. They just feel much more comfortable and you can carry pretty much 20 kilos with them and still feel comfortable. But the CS40 is very close and with 15 kilos it's still very comfortable. The main compartment is 40 liters in size and it was just enough for me to pack everything for a five-day hike food and water included. So realistically, if you resupply every five days, which I think is completely normal, then this backpack is large enough to fit pretty much anything. I also like that there aren't any pockets or anything in the main compartment. It's essentially just one large big pocket and you can organize it however you want to, which is the way that I prefer. I also very much enjoy that it has a very large stretchy pocket on the front. In the Lofoten Islands, you could be hiking in a t-shirt and after 30 minutes, you could be hiking in a dawn jacket, beanie and your rain gear. Putting everything inside the stretchy pocket was really nice to have because it meant that I didn't need to open up the main compartment every time that I needed to put on my rain gear. It also comes with two pockets on the hip belt that are very large. You can put your phone in there, your wallet, some snack bars and some other smaller things, which is definitely helpful. One thing that I don't like about the CS40 is the side pockets. I could see them being useful for some people but I personally think that they're too large and I think they could be made from a more stretchy material. When I put a water bottle in there it just moves around and it basically isn't secure. One time I even noticed while I was pausing that I basically dropped the water bottle and I could have lost it which would have meant that I would need to return so not ideal. But one advantage to this was that I was able to put my trekking poles on one side and my tripod on the other and I was able to secure it with these drawstrings on each side. And another thing that I don't like about the CS40 is that it doesn't have a drawstring for holding my foam sleeping pads. But luckily they've included loops at the bottom which means that you can put in your own drawstring which is what I did. On their website, Outdoor Vitals mentions that they've made this pack from an ultralight waterproof fabric called the Ultra 200. And with this, they've been able to achieve a pack weight of just 760 grams. I'm definitely not an expert in ultralight fabrics, so I'll just give my own personal experience about how well it's made overall. So far, there aren't any tears, no holes, no significant abrasions, and overall, the fabric seems pretty durable. But of course, I'll have to use it for much longer to actually confirm this so I'll post another comment within a few months on basically how well it's holding up. It isn't 100% waterproof because the seams aren't sealed but as I was walking in Norway I noticed that in light rain most of my stuff inside was pretty much completely dry. And lastly there's one other thing that I don't like about it it's that it's white. When you're hiking in rain and mud the pack starts to get dirty 
very quickly and the stains don't really come out when washing. Believe me, because I tried. Yeah, I know, I should probably just embrace it like a true ultralight hiker. And of course, Outdoor Vitals isn't the only one who is making white ultralight backpacks. Pretty much every ultralight gear maker out there is making white gear. But that's just something that I personally don't understand because white just isn't a good option for the outdoors for obvious reasons. I know I probably upset someone by saying this, but you know, it's my opinion and I think it's just logical. Honestly, this is my first ultralight backpack, so I can't objectively compare it to other ultralight packs. But overall, I really like it. And there are just a few minor things that I don't like about it, like the side pockets, the lack of sleeping pad straps, and also that it's in white. I like it because it's simple and minimal. It seems really durable and it offers a lot of space in the main compartment in this pocket on the front and also the hip belt pockets. But the main thing that I love about it is that it is really comfortable. It's pretty much as comfortable as a lot of packs that weigh twice as much. Of course, it won't do well with 20 kilo loads and up, but with a 15 kilogram load, it still feels really comfortable. So if you're looking to get into ultralight packs, and I think the CS40 is a really good option. Personally, this is my new go-to pack whenever I'm hiking. In fact, I'm on an overnight hike right now and my dog and my wife are waiting on me, so I should probably end the video over here. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.